We had Igor back, he joined us, met him at the hotel. Um, uh, Justin Richards joined us. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. How's Igor feeling? Uh, um, as, as Igor's feeling good. He's eligible to, uh, to play tonight. He's um, will dress and will decide later after I talk to Turk if um, he's our starting goalie or not. You had talked yesterday about the pressure on young kids who come up and they don't want to make a mistake. Um, so I'm wondering, does that inform the way you coach? Do you tell these guys, like say Brayden Schneider or, or more, you know, Morgan Barnes, like, whoever it is, don't be afraid to make a mistake. Go play. Um, it, do you communicate that, or is that left unsaid? Um, you try to make them feel as comfortable as possible, and I think it's more about their situation with the. Uh, it was a coach, but also probably more importantly with his the line mates, teammates, and I think um, you know I think Morgan's been playing very well right now, and I think it's also something to do with him playing with you know on that Hartford Wolfpack line where you know sometimes there's a pressure of oh I got to get him the puck, oh I got to do that, or was that my job or not? And those three are just skating, working well, and talking, communicating on the ice, and just playing hockey like as if they were in Hartford. Um, you know, and if Schneider is to play tonight, um, you know, if he is, he's probably on a pair with Nemeth and, you know, there's a guy that can talk and communicate. He's very good at that. Um, you know, hopefully that helps him calm him. And, and also I know that uh, Gordon Murphy's really good with the young players. Just giving them enough information that they need to know. To get back to, to Igor a little bit, um, you said that you're going to decide later if, whether he's going to play or not. He hasn't practiced with the team. He could just step in. He's not had a full practice. No, he had, He was out on the ice today for some shots. Yeah. And um, you know, after I'm done here, I'm probably we'll talk to Turk and sure. we'll make that decision then. Do you know whether he was able to skate at all? Uh, yes, last? he was in New York. He was skating. He was in New York and skating. Um, the last day, I believe. Okay. So, um, yes, I mean, from what I know, that's I believe that's what it was. Yeah. But I, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. I know that he joined us today. So. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All teams uh, have had to deal with, with COVID players out, and uh, when you get insertions from guys from Hartford, obviously the, the guys that are in that the NHL roster get to see them a little bit maybe sooner or more than they might otherwise. Has their insertion and when they have come in, has it provided confidence to your organization that you have maybe even more depth than you thought you had? Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm not sure. I think you've always wanted, as an organization, have those players ready that when they're called upon, that they're they're ready and they can contribute to the organization. Um, you know, sometimes they're it's too soon for them. Um, Situation's not right where um, you know, the organization, the Rangers, are looking for a more skilled player. And, I don't know, there's just so many factors, but uh, you know, I think it's gone well so far. And but um, you know, sometimes players come up and are able to give a boost. But I guess what they really want to know is if they can sustain and play at this level for a long period of time. Tonight's game, um, two teams had a really close game in Madison Square Garden. Uh, big difference looks like a five on five are reasonably close to each other this year in your performance, but the big difference for the Rangers anyway has been, been the special teams. Just give us your thought on how your special teams has been and how you see the game tonight. Yeah, and I think a lot of the success the Rangers have been having is you know, special teams are so important and, and, and goaltending and throughout this year. They, the goaltending has been uh, outstanding. Like It's been really good. Uh, special teams, I'm um, not sure where it is now, but I know um, last week, the power play and penalty kills in the, in the top five. So, you know, usually if you get special teams and goaltending, it's a good recipe for, for team success. And, um, you know, I, I know they changed some of the defensive zone coverage uh, a couple months ago now, and I know that made a big progress on the way their, their team was playing five on five. So, uh, you know, I think uh, from an observer, um, from from my home when I was watching on TV and from what I see right now is, you know, they're, they're a pretty good hockey team. With the, I just wanted to ask you a little bit about Lafreniere on the right. I know we asked you about it after the game, but, you know, you had 
really been involved with that before. What 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 do you think is involved in a in a guy who's played that game all his life? Switch to the other side. Well, how difficult is that? You think, and yeah, how capable do you think he's going to be to do it? I think the probably the biggest thing is there's a lot of advantages to playing the offside. Um, one is mostly on the attack, being able to protect the puck a lot better, and and the option of delay, cut to the middle. Um, the disadvantage is getting the puck usually from the defenseman and knowing who's available right away because your um, your vision isn't as good as if it is on your, your natural side. So there's just different plays. There's some guys figure it out, like Panarin can stop up, hit a delay trailer, whether that's in the offensive zone, neutral zone, or even on the in the defensive zone. And I guess it's just players getting comfortable on knowing how much time they do have. And there's an adjustment. Uh, Lackey's a very skilled player and with enough reps, you will get familiar with it. You will get comfortable, and you'll be making a difference. But where where you're stronger, that's you know that's to, to be determined.